Ah, good. Sweet, I'm so excited to die. I like this guy. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Much like me, I too will not stand. Oh yeah, I will also not stand a chance. Oh yeah, it's like oh my god. Oh, she's poisoning the water. That's probably not good. Oh, I'm sick. So sick. Doctor, help me, please. I'm in such pain. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Oh, I like your help, Doris. Liars. All of you. <coughs> Tired, to be honest, <laughs> but I did it. Chance. Harriet, but you must stop all of this. Myself. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? I was a good mother. Uh, well, she's. Okay, what do I have on? Uh, well, I'm about to get my ass whooped. <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally. I accidentally did the wrong thing. God, it does so much damage. Look at this already. So much damage. Okay, that's okay. Sleepless, you're gonna you're gonna vibe. I'm gonna concentrate. Like immensely. Exactly like Doris, except I think she's she's definitely more powerful. She definitely has a a lot of. I'll give her that. She's very, very quick. That reach, though. Arm. The arms got the reach, baby. Jesus. This is my preferred boss arena. Can I also just appreciate that? Gotta watch that fucking arm, man. Gotta watch that arm. Harriet, please, I took care of you. 
Please, bitch. Oops. Okay, let her attack me. Let her... And then go for it. Okay, there we go. It's like I can't even target onto her. She's so fast. Oh lord, have mercy. Oh, she got me. Blood, feed me. Give me their lives. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hello? Hello? Babe! Oh my god. Shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for her. I don't know how to attack her. Oh, fuck off. I'm doing. I don't know what to do. Feed your mother, child. Oh, fucking Jesus, F off. Damn! I totally walked into that. Blood, feed me, give me their lives. Did that get me?
Whoa, whoa. I think that got me. these guys. No, I don't want that. But thank you. Uh, hello? Whoa! Babe! Hello? Let me see what that's gonna do. each other.
What the hell? How did that, I'm sorry, how did that get me? Can we talk about that? Oh my god. Hi, Mr. Rob. I hope so. Can I take a break for a second? No one could ever defeat you. Holy shit, I think some adrenaline just left my body. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen. And I honestly don't I kinda hope so. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us. Until the next time. Until the next time. Okay. Sure. Have they suffered enough? Yes. All right. Then my work here is done. What the fuck kind of answer is that? Oh, thanks, Sleepless. So it's over then, young Echo. Is it? You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. Sorry about your friends. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean. Of course, you. I'm a good boy. Sorry about your friends. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other. Nah, she's too smart for that. I was up above, 
in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all. Safe. I know she's like the coolest character. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here. Yeah, today. please don't. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. She's like my favorite. Thank okay. you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I oh. refuse you anything now? Yay. Who I'll answer are you? just as I answered Lady Ashbury. When we met a few It feels like it's ago. been a lifetime. Who are you? Yes. Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his oh. blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. What? Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Dun 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 now dun. That all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Econ, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Thanks, Bridget. Lord Redgrave is a piece of shit, isn't he? Lord Redgrave. God. London has oh, been cleansed. I guess we have reached the end. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Sorry, Mary. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death. Passing from one immortal to another, be like that. from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. I don't get why. When I spared him. Come, mortals and immortals alike. The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now. Is to catch the woman I That's love, just yeah. I was gonna say like, do you even understand where you are right now? Mask, I forgot this was 1918. I'm like, why is he driving a car? So long. <laughs> but that makes sense, I guess. It's 1918. Ooh, pretty. Ari Village. <coughs> I think we hit Heisenberg Stronghold. I know, right? Oh my god, say it ain't so. Leg asp. Also, are you allowed to be out in the sun? I think that's kind of illegal, isn't it? I love how everything is also sort of like <laughs> well, fading in. This is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? Because she's a secretive lady. I better hurry. Yeah, it is almost. Oh, hang on. Oh. I don't know what I was thinking. Learn the truth about Elizabeth. You again. When I had enough of you. Beautiful war, my child. It looks it like has been a long couple of nights. Can't you just leave uh, me yeah, alone? Yeah, Jonathan. Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from when she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. Good. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It Akasha is sends her regards. You did well. Tell me about the disaster. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? Station Zero. You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Or you could just fucking tell me. Have you the answer? 
Ikers are female? I noticed that all the Ikors were female. As if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman. As was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath... We're pretty good at holding grudges. ...that but one disaster have been cast upon this wobbling world. Are Ikers contagious? Oh, hang on. There it is. Ikors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals... <laughs> oh my god, are we in another cycle right now? Does the Red Queen know? Contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. Well, that's... Oh my god, what am I doing here? Because I'm hitting the wrong button. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep. Now that enough I mean, people she's wrought her destruction. It? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bitch. I'm sorry, so you couldn't do this? And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way. But you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. Murden. What oh does God, she guys, seek? I'm freezing all of a Revenge? Sudden. Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. I mean, that's fair. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. No, that seems like the perfect thing that I'm gonna have to fucking fuck around with. Tell me about the guarded pre-win. What will become of the vampire hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Remember that you two are now. Why am I on their dark list? I literally just saved the city and I let McCullum go. You motherfucker, tell him what that will for me. To will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a disease cannot last huh. forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. Maybe you should. I don't know. What of the Brotherhood? What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the <laughs> new primate. No, Usher Talltree for the win. But I'm certain the current primate yeah. has Yeah, no Jonathan or I are just like, we're in sync. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly it's true. understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. It's true. I'll put him down if I have to. If I have to put Nedwin down, I will do so. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. What the? Murden. And you. Stop it. Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to be there's more. Well. There was more of me, and you chose yes. Sons? Plural. <laughs> my God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I like we are on the same page, guys. Spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the. No, you do speak in stupid mysteries. Yeah, who are your sons? Yeah, speak clearly then. When he fought me, 
Jeffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire mm -hmm. blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. Wait, he was it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest. Murden. King Arthur was also your project. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. <laughs> Loser. He in the end. <laughs> and for centuries the land suffered his defeat. About William Marshall? Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you. Only older. You are no. strong, Jonathan. No. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawn of this generation. Ah, good. Good. That is me. Is he here? Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not you already actually really haven't, question? though. Actually, you have, I think. Have you? His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave Wait. possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. <laughs> For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. Oh, well, hey, great job. Ooh, nothing like taking a blind leap of faith here, eh? Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son. Okay, I read that. I read between the lines on that one. How many have you created, my good sir? How many have Shakespeare? You created? That would be kind of cool. Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Oh, Sir Francis Drake? Francis Drake? Thomas Guy Fawkes? Fawkes? Please tell me Guy Fawkes. My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land What anymore. the fuck? But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you should meet Please be Guy Fawkes. Please. But before then, are we just puppets? So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my son. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Well, where the fuck were you helping my dumbass when I got stuck on some stupid shit? Speak clearly then. And answer my last he question. Did. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Fare thee well. Fare well, my child. I shall dream about you. Soon. Oh, clearly I'm his favorite. Shit. Fucking, it's almost daytime. Ah! It's locked. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe yeah, I can where find exactly are you in. fucking planning on going? The sun is coming up. These castle walls do actually look quite decrepit. It's an, an invisible wall. Here comes my greatest enemy. How the fuck do I break in? <laughs> like, where am I zippy zooming my dumb ass to? Yeah, the castle walls do look decrepit, but like, what is the answer? Huh. I'll just take this worn down beaten path. Uh, we might meet some lichens here. I don't have a gun, but I do have me. I mean, stairs are usually a good way to go. I like stairs. Oh, there's a beautiful little graveyard here. That's, that's dandy. Oh, what's this? Robin Englewood, 1530 to 1578. Good. Who be this? Mary Inglewood, born Whitaker. 1534 to 1578. What else we fucking got here? Who else we? Oh. That's it? I want more tombstones. Am I even going the right way here? Oh, just an unknown area. I've got nothing. Cool. So we could be wandering my dumb ass around here for hours and the gate's locked. Do you think Lady D is here? Oh, do you think she's here? Oh my god. 
That door doesn't exist. That is not a real door. Sweet. Oh. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. Definitely, maybe 100% your imagination. She must be here somewhere. Loot first, ask questions later. Oh. This is in 1865. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your recent letter and all the good news it contained. I cannot wait to finally meet you when you arrive in London. The garden is beautiful under the summer sky, although I noted your wish to avoid heat and direct sunlight because of your frail health. You're welcome any day. We'll discuss this wonderful idea of yours concerning the foundation of an orphanage for young ladies inspired by the French Maison Royale de Saint Louis. Sadly closed when the French people chose, my god, I can't even write these words down, to cut their king's head off. <laughs> what a crazy time. Um, such a place destined to provide a good education to gifted but poor orphan girls will surely excite my friends here in the city. You can count on me and my influence to help make your project a huge success. Yours ever sincerely, Countess Alexandra Somerset. That's great. Way to go. Also, the piano is kind of exposed to the elements here. Have we thought about that? Thought about that. This is a fucking old ass castle. This castle is falling it apart. It is falling apart, Jonathan. That is some astute observation. I swear to God, we are in such sync. It's crazy. Oh, Vermeer is my favorite painter. Like, I don't think you guys understand how much I love Johannes Vermeer. Oh my God. It's nice. Elizabeth Blackwood, 1666, the year of the devil. Oh. Uh, 1795. Dear God, we're going back in time. Dear Mr. McAllister, as the new legal owner of Ashbury State, I intend to quickly engage in the overdue maintenance and repairs of the walls and the crypt of the castle. Among the few architects I invited to send forth proposals, I was most impressed by your respectful approach concerning renovations on historical buildings and their preservation. I would be glad to meet you at your convenience. My only request would be to speak to you directly and not your assistance. Any evening of next month would be agreeable. You may come to the castle or I can meet you at your office as you prefer. If you agree to come to the castle, I could show you what kind of repairs and modifications I have in mind concerning the crypt, which may need considerable work and reconstruction. Very sincerely, the Lady Ashbury. Like most castles, this one has a crypt. Hold something special inside. Yeah, uh, probably bodies. That's usually how it is. Probably bodies. They probably know I'm here, right? Like, she knows I'm here. I'm just fucking skulking around like I goddamn own the place. Door's not real. Oh, now that we're fucking talking, look at this. That's beautiful. That's so nice. I mean, with the right sum of money, we could totally make this work. Uh, are we going down? Bonk. Yes, I go down. That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfect. I am exploring the castle. She was here. I'm gonna... And recently. 1907. Dear... Oh, in Everness. Dear Lady Ashbury, I write to confirm that my men will be at your castle next Monday to begin the new work on the crypt and its access. The plans have been approved, and I'll personally be on site to supervise the installation of the locks and secret security measures you have requested. I also can assure you that my men have been briefed about never entering the crypt itself or the second floor of the castle. I must say I'm proud to continue and enhance the work started by my great-grandfather when employed by your ancestor in 1795. Very sincerely, Angus McAllister. Jesus fuck. How far back are we going here? I'm pretty sure I've seen you recently. This is the kind of shit I love. Asplorins. Old dirty castles. Looking for the Lady D. She's not in here now. It's great. This is really nice. This is just lovely. Mm hmm. Something's. Yeah. Dunbarrow Sanatorium in Scotland, 27th of July, 1909. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your previous letters and ardent discussions about vampire folklore. It's now obvious we share an opinion concerning scientific and modern approach towards the need for blood and the cure for, uh, of addiction. I must confess I admired your charitable attitude when I met you at the Dunbarrow Sanatorium, and I'm still impressed by your kindness when talking with humble and poor patients. I was delighted to read about the position of administrator at the Pembroke Hospital you financed since its founding. 
After a few days of deliberation, I'm happy to accept your offer. It will be, for me, an occasion to get back to the busy streets of London after years of public service in the beautiful but quite, uh, but far quieter Scotland. I will be glad to meet you there and discuss with you further about immortality, its advantages and disadvantages, and how to enhance your condition. I look forward to our next meeting. Yours sincerely, Nedwin Swansea. Fuck yeah, baby. Oh, Nedwin. He's really... That is a massive fireplace. Dear God, you could lose a body in there. If you fall in, you're good. Is that a Joseph William Mallard Turner? Also one of my most favorite painters. Like, you guys have no idea how much I love art. <laughs> I haven't made it obvious enough. I love... Oh, Vincent Van Gogh. So nice. Really, really captured. Portrait of Elizabeth and Jacob Blackwood in Versailles, 1788. Love it. She is looking especially hot. Um, there's another door back there, though. I'm overwhelmed. I need a second to eat a rat. This painting looks suspicious. Yeah, I'll fucking say it does. Hang on, we'll come back to that in a second. Do I need to be eating rats? Am I gonna face another battle here? I don't think I can handle it. Oh, okay, this is just... This is just another beautiful part of this beautiful castle. Oh, and stairs. To not a real door. The stairs lead nowhere. With the right sum of money, I can make this work. Oh, okay. It all leads back here. With the rats. Interessant. Can I look at it? So hot right now. Oh, yeah. More looting, please. Oh. <laughs> In Inverness on the 11th of February, 1807, dear Miss Ashbury, when we last communicated, you asked uh, for the conveyance of a large coffin from Temple Church, London, to the crypt of the Ashbury Castle in Scotland. I am... Okay, I'm reading right now, game. Fuck off. I am happy to report your request has finally been validated. My drivers have been informed of that. For security reasons, guards must always protect the coffin. You have hired these individuals who will be waiting for us in London. They also have been informed that under no circumstances should the carriage try to pass a river by a boat, but always by road and bridges, for the precious wood and the relics inside the coffin cannot be exposed to hum humidity and moisture. You'll find a detailed quote for the entire operation attached to this letter. We are ready to go to London as soon as payment is received in full. Yours very respectfully. Samuel Lewis, independent contractor. Why would I need to activate my senses? Never mind, I found it. Is this a puzzle? A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. Okay, good boss. Look for what? Locate the secret passage, of course. I, oh, it's been unlocked. That's just great. I don't even know if I've come across <laughs> a moon and sword, like, at all. Looking around for the secret passage. Is it in here or is it not in here? Is it outside? Do I have to go back outside? Are we going back outside? This door is locked. This door is locked. I'm kind of actually just most content exploring around. To be completely honest with you, I like exploring. Oh, that's where the other side leads. Okay. The sword. And there we go. So, am I going back out? Like, I must be, right? Castles are confusing. This is why I don't live in one. The sunlight burns, but like also kind of not. 
God damn, is it picturesque out here. Okay, um, what am I looking for? Locate the secret passage. Is it in the house or is it not, though? Like, these are the questions I need to be asking. It's a crypt, obviously. So, like, kind of probably something out here, right? I would imagine. I mean, if I was a crypt, where the fuck would I sleep? are confusing. Was I, I wasn't there. I was like, wait, was I in there already? Oh, that's a gate. Not there. Don't go there. Um, try going down again, maybe? Is it like down down here? I think your moat's a little uh, falling apart here. I, I don't know, to be honest. Never just use the front door. Never use the front door. Yeah, that's still locked. Okay, so it's got to be up here somewhere. I wonder how we found this place. <sighs> like, why can't she just come out and meet me? Why the fuck do I have to hunt her ass down? Oh, I can't do anything with that. That's kind of ridiculous. Nothing will... What the fuck is it? Oh, okay. That's weird. Okay, let's try... Uh, let's try... I don't know. Let's try... I don't know. Well, wait. But that's the... Uh... Doesn't even trigger with my. This is it, though, is it not? Let me in. But that's it here, though. I like ninety percent sure. <laughs> that's what I want, right? Like, like it's it's there. It's that that's it. That that is it. That's where I need to be, right? We got a little house here. That is it. That's that's it. That. That's that has to be it, though. Yeah, there's a wall here. A wall that doesn't exist, but it's there anyway. Right? Is that not what my... A lot of shillings. Like, that's it. They said the sun and the sword, right? Or the moon and the sword. Like, it's... It, this is this is the building here. It has to be. But how does one enter? I can't go down. Is that a little sneaky spot over here? Nope. There's, there's gotta be, okay, so it's not top then, it's gotta be in the bottom somewhere, right? Is that one of those things where I'm not hitting the angles right again? So I have to go out? But there was nothing here though when I went around there. I can't weapon either. There is no weapon. There is only brain. I don't have brain. Brain's lost on me. 
think it's I'm pretty sure it's there. Am I close, sleepless? Like am I am I is that the right thing? I'll keep wandering around. If that's the right thing, I'll find a way to get in. gotta be it that's the only that's the only other place it's not in the castle right or is it in the castle is it one of those things where i'm supposed to no i can't even zip across there okay you can't it is inside ah fuck well, it had, but that building had the moon and the sword. It's in the fireplace, isn't it? That's why the fireplace was so fucking ginormous. That's why it was so large. <laughs> really should be moving inside soon because the sun's gonna roast my dumb ass if I stay outside any longer. Little gravestones, a lot of gravestones. It's very gothic in nature, which is what I love about it. Making my way downtown, walking fast, hungry and nice. Okay, I just want to make sure there's nothing there. Okay, looking for a moon and swole. What a distinguished looking gentleman. Clock. Probably maybe something to do with the uh, armor. Maybe. Okay. Well, oh, those are all axes, so that's probably not it. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. I swear to God, did this shit not highlight for me? Here's another switch. I should keep looking. Like in here? Not in here. That did that did not glow. One last switch, and and what? It's. It's the moon. Where is the other one? Yeah. Voila. <laughs> Confront Lady Ashbury. I knew it was the fireplace that looked a little sus. Dear fucking God. This is a crypt. We're gonna fight? Oh. Hang on. It's just. Could you put here? Oh dear God, ancient tome. 1217. An angel came to me, blessed be God to God. Michael appeared at me to me last night in all his glory, shaped in glorious blood, to grant me eternal life at the dusk of my life. I know that. Angels are scary in, in the old uh, the old Bible there, but I think if it was uh, showing up to you in a cloud of blood, I would be a bit concerned. The apparition was so sublime and terrible that I could not help but lower my head and close my eyes. Struck by the divine gift, I fell to the ground only to awake the next night. You will serve me as you serve your kings. Said the angel before me. Said the angel before striking me with all his power. You will protect this land through the eons to come. For all who knew me, I should now hide and retreat, for they consider me dead. Soon I will leave the company of men and serve my new purpose. Blessed be God. Thirteen fifty. Michael appeared to me last night in my retreat under Temple Church and asked me to prepare for battle. 
The land must be saved. Death is everywhere. Oh, fuck. Here we go. The Black Death, an epidemic sent by the devil himself to punish mortals all over the world. My arm is strong. In the name of God, I shall smite the enemies of mankind. England shall prevail. Prevail. What a crazy couple of years that was, eh? 1569. Almost 20 years since my fight started against the devil, and the end of is uncertain. From time to time, the plague, the Black Death, reappears in a village, in a town, and each time, the vicious minions of hell approach to get their share of the mortal suffering. Vampires. Dreadful creatures. I won't let this land collapse. Under my last breath, I'll serve and protect England. Tonight, in the small village of Hod Hodston... I met the most delicate soul I have seen for a long time. She was singing for the dead, singing for those she knew and loved, those killed by a new plague outbreak, without fearing for her own life. Her voice moved me, so I chose to let her live. I offered her eternal life as a reward for her uh, virtue and most pious attitude. Her name is Elizabeth Inglewood. I'm not alone anymore. Together we shall praise God in all his glory for eons to come. Okay, so 1578. It's 1918. Jesus Christ. So she's older than old Bridget? Oh. Never mind. My heart is breaking. My soul is bleeding. Tonight my dear Elizabeth left me. I have taught her all I knew. All she needed to know. Now she must walk her own path through the ages. This is her wish and I will respect it. Elizabeth Inglewood, my sweet daughter, is gone. For now she wants to be known as Elizabeth Blackwood. I made her a promise. If she ever comes back to Hodston, she... Oh, fuck. Sorry. That was my bad. She will find me there managing the Bull Inn her parents owned before dying. William Marshall uh, shall disappear for a few times, too, now that the Black Death is no more. Until we meet again, I shall be known as William Thorne, waiting for my angel to come back. 1665 the devil is at work again the great plague is back reaping thousands of lives in london i must sell the bull in and go there once more william marshall shall protect the land in 16 oh my god what have i done i let the devil infect me god forgive me the terrifying creature i had to defeat was a demon straight from hell an abomination of the flesh a walking apocalypse I had to trap the dreadful creature in St. Paul's Church and set the building on fire. <laughs> what the fuck? Fi sweet fire cleanses all. This, it is such a reading. It's so much reading. That's why I'm reading it for you guys as I stumble through most of the words because I too can't read. Uh, without the advice of Michael, I don't know if I could have defeated my enemy. The flames cleansed the city of, well, didn't, yeah, London had a great fire, didn't it, in 1666 also? The flames cleansed the city of the demon's presence, but half of London burnt down. Ever since, I have dreamt of a red flood of slaughter and rage. It's like the disaster had tainted my blood, my very soul. For the first time in centuries, I am afraid. I shall crawl back to my retreat and pray to God for mercy for my infected soul. 1667, Elizabeth came to me. She said she felt my pain and rushed to save me, my poor daughter. Blinded by rage, intoxicated by the blood of hate, I bit her. She fled, shocked by my betrayal. I laughed and cried as she cursed me. God, have I betrayed you? Have you abandoned me? Well, this is taking quite a turn. 1712, my prayers have been heard. I found the strength to resist the need for blood, the never-ending hunger. My poor Elizabeth, will you ever forgive me? I have heard you now kill and take pleasure in bloodbath with this new progeny of yours. You're a victim in all this. What have I done? I swear I will find a way to make amends for what I have done to you. I swear I shall only rest once I know how to appease the blood of hate. Oh my God. Why is there no paragraph break? Ah. Uh, okay, here we go. Let me, let me lean in here. Oh my God. Okay, in 1785, the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stoll finally agreed to meet me in London. They promised to meet me inside the new Cathedral of St. Paul. I like the wit and solemnity of these men. What a symbol. To choose the place where I defeated the disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agree to their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church, under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against this evil creature, the Deus Ostro, the eater of stars, who only wished to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they... Oh, for fuck's sake. Goddamn. <laughs> Uh, 
where I, now I don't know where I am. Okay, since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. Their primate promised to come back with me to, promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. According to him, this ancient artifact could heal anything, cleanse any blackened soul, and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord. It took more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate, but I may finally have found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me most, for time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But if that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes, I am ready to endure any excruciating pain. 1786, I finally managed to gather all the ingredients needed to concoct the tear of angels. Blood of the purest heart for fortitude, blood of a king for courage, garlic essence for the painful cleansing. After months of impatience, almost made mad by the hunger, I waited again and again until finally Elizabeth cautiously came to me. As I promised, I had chained myself to be sure I would not attack her again. I did not recognize my sweet daughter at first for she only was Lady Blackwood now, the dreadful mistress of the dark who took delight in slaughter and carnage in France. She smirked as I apologized and cried for what I had inflicted to her. She shouted at me when I tried to explain to her that, I, that my bite had infected her, had given her the blood of hate, now burning in her veins, in her soul. I told her I found a cure, that I had managed to create one dose of antidote. I gave it to her, to give her back her previous peaceful life. In exchange, I could only ask, I only asked her to take care of me, for I intended to be locked down in my tomb, chained if necessary, to impeach me from feeding on any mortal or immortal. She reluctantly took the angel, the tear of angels and left. I hope to see her again soon, cured in that peace. Almost there, guys. 1794, she came back to me finally, cured, healthy, joyful, my Elizabeth. She told me she had drunk the antidote about a year ago in France. After witnessing and taking part, in the massacre of, the of an entire orphanage caused by the blood of hate. That's when the Lady Blackwood died, she said. She promised she would take care of me now. That's all I ask, as I repent for all the murdered souls caused by my negligence of more than a hundred years. Uh, my dearest daughter came back last week to tell me the good news. She had recently bought a castle in Scotland. She will soon finance the renovation of the castle crypt to provide me with my new retreat. Far from temptation, far from the noisy, crowded cities, I can't wait to embrace the solitude. Find the peace I need to refrain from killing. God, please give me the strength to, oh, for God's sake, uh, to resist the urges during the journey from London to my new domain. Before I leave, I should give a copy of these memoirs to the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, without the most shameful and sensible information, of course. Soon I shall leave London to pursue my penance. There I shall find peace at last with the support of my resuscitated Elizabeth. Oh boy, that was a long one. Jesus Christ, why couldn't you tell me all of this? We could have gotten through this together instead of to fucking hunt you down, playing around clues and riddles, and I feel like I'm back in the sinking city, and we're gonna go uh, descend into Katiganar, and it's gonna be a mess. Katiganar. I'm gonna confront this woman. Cutscene! Drop your sword. You have nothing to be afraid of. Why is it burning? Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You told me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Uh, you could smite it, I guess. Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Do I have to kill her? Caution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. What took you so long? I got a little lost. Your castle's kind of a decrepit mess. Do I actually have to fight her? Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall, 
first Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and saviour of England. Well, he kind of failed, though. He got the infected. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life. We just read that, Jonathan. My god, man. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. What do you mean a few minutes left? Why flee here? Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes. To end it. Once. Oh, well, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? It's a fucking crypt vault. We talked about this. This is the Ashbury estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the cost. Nice. Uh, she has mentioned that this is place this is her retreat, retreat, Jonathan. I pay attention. Something of a secret place. It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became. I can fix him, though. Someone could find you. I found Are you. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. I mean, I found it. Are you going to come after me? Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who is about to come into money. I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. But London is saved. I have destroyed the disaster this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic ah. is no more, and London will be in time. Yes. You did well, Thank Jonathan. you for the sun. You truly saved 14 the months? City. Oh my god. Yes, What's up? We did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this. 14 months is a long time. What do you do when you're so crazy? Blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. Yeah, I made the guy that the did it immortal. The creature so <laughs> inexplicably Oops. evil. She exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. But you're cured now. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. I mean, he is kind of dangerous. Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty echo who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire driven by an urge to kill and spread <laughs> the blood. Uh oh. Hate. No redemption. No redemption, then. And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels. Bless his heart, eh? To protect the feeble. And to smite the unholy. He can communicate, but can barely. Communicate. Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised. Bless me. his heart indeed, eh? But you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. I mean, you could just... Why did you hide him here? Why are you hiding William Marshall here? I know, it's I been so nice take care of to have you back. You've been popping He's in a little bit. Uh, no problem. Like Sorry, I couldn't stay. Dose of I felt really bad. I'm like, I'm here and I'm gone. Jonathan, we literally just he read this. I spent antidote. five minutes reading yes. this to everybody. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. I and still say the combat is. fucking sucks. Like I said, I... Don't mind everything else. You just literally have to take out the combat for me. <laughs> what do you do for him? I visit him. Story is great. As possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him with my blood. You feed him. You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying. Yet you give him your blood. After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said this. Oh, bless his heart. What a good boy. The lore is like really, yeah, no, everything about this game I enjoy. The fucking combat and the load screens. They just, 
they kind of, they layer themselves in, you know? It does this, and I'm like, oh, fucking load screens. Oh, fucking combat. Oh, fucking load screens. God damn it, the door's locked. It's just one thing after another. We could cure him. We could cure him. It's too late. The blood How do you know that? Has run for too long. We'll just keep the pumping him full of good stuff. I tried. Oh. Believe me, I tried. Okay. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original. That is true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but he's I do my best. By sacrificing him to get it across. How? The tears of Jonathan Andrew, again. See, it's because I do the all the side of conversations that this makes no older, sense. More powerful blood. You used it blood on yourself, you dumb. Blood. Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. You can't spell slaughter I without laughter. I Europe reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's anti- Why are you holding that sword, babe? How did you meet William Marshall? He was an Ekon for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death. The stacking of the hands, the compounding layers. His progeny. Why did he choose you? Why did he choose you? You should ask. I don't really want to get close to him. He might eat me. Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. He is my father. He raised me. He taught me. I know, right? That is also very true. We have these are the questions we need to be asking. Who are you really? Who are you really? How could I answer that? That is true. I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you? I am Elizabeth Ashbury, and that's all I wish. That's a fair be. thing. I do respect your desire for privacy. I understand. And I, I also read all about it, so it's all good. Thank you, Jonathan. What about us? What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughter. Um, it took a couple of tries. So. The danger as you turned your back, like the newborn fool you were. I am a fool. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not so. risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? Because now we're ready I to know I the truth. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can... I know, his jacket's so nice. Tragedy. I can help you. I'm a doctor. You can trust me, can Elizabeth. trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, John. Yeah, he could eat me. But be careful. So was I right and I called it when I said she was gonna die? Hey, BFF, what's up, you motherfucker? So nice to meet the legend, the myth. I know, right? It's so creepy. He's like kind of half dead. Yes, Sir William. My God. Richard the Lionheart. Really what a man. Pretty sure that was Eleanor of Aquitaine's favorite child. Richard the Lionheart Not a lie. And his brother, King John. <laughs> King John was the reason we have the Magna Carta. I did in 1215, my day. baby. Come closer. A picture. If you want to speak. I love pictures. For my hearing isn't what it used to I be. don't believe I that. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it you want then? Tell me about the blood of hate. About the disaster. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? I did get barfed on a couple of times. Poison? Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you and all those you care for. Who was the one you defeated? You also defeated one in 1666. Who was London was having such a crazy year. The plague, the fire. <laughs> the city. 
It was a car shop. Of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months <laughs> when I finally I found her. I love that sentence so fucking much. In Pudding Lane there was a bakery. That was where she was hiding. It's amazing. How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. Fire oh, cleanses all. Sweet, hot destroy. fire. Ah, uh, the tears of angels? I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients Jonathan, did we you talked use? about this. Once I understood what the ingredients were. I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. Uh, oh. How did, yeah, how the fuck did... Well... I'm assuming if he's serving under Richard the Lionheart. Yes, that'll be fine then. King Richard and Bodicea. How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, mm. it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. The Order of St. Paul, I believe. I believe you. Did it work? And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. Ah, uh, tell me about the blood of hate. The blood of hate. How does He's it? He's gonna eat us. Do you feel it now? The blood of hate. Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long. Blow a fortress down if you release it. Oh, that. That doesn't really seem good. Can we talk about the Morrigan? Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen. What up? I just kicked her ass, Morgan. actually. Did you meet her? You met her, oh, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It's a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth exit wife. stage what? left. For a time, she too could oh, hear the red song. That's true. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. That is also true, yeah. She went on a bit of a bender there. Let's talk about vampires, shall we? I would we? like to ask you. Vampires. Vampires. Oh well. What about that shit's them? crazy. Considering I... your experience, please yeah. tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. What kind of ones are you fight? I've never seen such a creature, my guy. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift, and implacable. Well, that didn't really answer my question. Where did yeah, you encounter this one should. creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. A terrible, god-forsaken place. That sounds exactly where I need pestilence. to be. Do you remember murder? Only God is my maker. <laughs> I've got he news for you. On this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood. You're going to confuse an old man, Jonathan. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. How did you meet Elizabeth? How did you meet Elizabeth? Times were tough. Oh, God. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come. I chose to save her. Mm, yeah, when was that? That was I mean we already we already read this. I when just want to see that? if our stories align. So long ago, 
A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. Okay. What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn. Owned it as William Thorne for a time. Those were good. Good years, eh? How was she infected? Tell me about Elizabeth. How was she infected? I do not wish to this. Oh my. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. Probably through How fluids. Is it transmitted? So a big After chunky bite. After the disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I returned to my retreat, infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me. Oh, she heard my pain from across the sea. Yeah, we're all talking old man winter here. Where is this retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church, beneath my empty tomb. I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell. Above. It's quite, uh, quite intense. I mean, I can what skip the dialogue, the right? The yellow forwards the story along. Into a rage man. <laughs> the picture, eh? My progeny. And infected her too. I just don't trust what she's gonna do with that sword. I failed you. You bit her again. Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees, begging for forgiveness. I swore I would find a way to make things right. I think she is gonna peg me in the butt. I don't entirely. I don't entirely trust Did you her. you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Do you want to be cured? Do you not want to be cured? No. This hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It has been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. That's a hint, Jonathan. We need to stop talking Silence. to him. You agreed to be confined here, then? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. Mm-hmm. We could set you. We could set you free. Let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I don't think that's a good idea, John. Its colors. <laughs> I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. It's true. It's not wise. But I doubt it will be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek. Right, exactly. So it's all totally normal here. No kink me. shaming here, guys. Elizabeth Dollface. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? No. To see the sky a final No, time. no, no, no. Nice try. Weird empty vagueness to her. Yeah, right. <gasps> Farewell. Great <Fred>. job. <laughs> it's a big sword. And you also, Jonathan. Wait, what? What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put Don't it. Don't you fucking do it. The flame I was right. So I mean, the poison that runs in my veins. No, I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Doctor Jonathan Reed, 
champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic, I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. Now nah, she's gonna do it. <laughs> she's gonna, she gonna do I it. I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster do into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. <laughs> Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget will take care of us. You are serious, aren't you? Um, I'm pretty really sure I have made myself this. explicitly clear. I love you, Elizabeth. I can <laughs> Crazy, but I believe you, Jonathan. Oh, well, maybe I was wrong. And then she's gonna, like, secretly fake us out, and she's gonna pull us both into the fire. Maybe. Twelve centuries later. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. That's me? Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung, and your path chosen. England is safe, for you have prevailed. I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest, and so I leave you to it. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber, until alas she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. I mean, I thought we amused her enough that she would shut the fuck up for the next eight centuries, but... So... Nice. I guess that was the good ending? If you think about it, I only killed one human. Is there a better one? I only ate the racist landlord. Well, I mean, and I accidentally killed Dorothy, but that was it. The instructions were not clear. Ha! Huh. Ow. I just, like, stretched weirdly, and I think I just threw my shoulder out. <laughs> Ow. Okay, well, he was a racist piece of garbage, though. Oh, well, he was racist, so he deserved it to be eaten by me. <laughs> she walks into the fire. Interesting. There's something about the title Skinners that just sounds very weird to me. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have 45 minutes also, so we need... How the hell do I have six emails? Who the fuck is emailing me? Ah, the fuck. <laughs> yes. Let me just uh, fix that one here. That's not what I wanted to do. When we get off the real account, get to the Finsta. Oh my god, it's so dark. Tilt. It's not gonna tilt. I cracked my phone screen and now I'm having problems. He's so handsome though. Look at him. He's so perfect. What? Did I miss a detail again? Hang on. I know. I don't want to talk about it. I had a really bad Monday. It was a really bad Monday. 
Oh my god, I'm struggling with life. Who does he remind me of, though? Like, he reminds me of, like, a character. I wish I could tilt. Who does he remind me of, though? Like, a character in, like, another... Was it a TV show or a game or something? You know who he reminds me of, I think? I think I got it. Look at his great staring eyes. It's like that Ned Flanders meme where it's like, God is watching you. Can we skip? So we're good? Yup. Bingo, bingo. That's the end of the game. Baller. I actually didn't think we, I was gonna... Like, I knew the fight was coming, but I thought it was going to be a lot worse. The story is, yeah, like, the story was interesting enough that it held my attention. The voice acting was fantastic. Like, 10 out of 10. Like, just really great.